Hi everybody, Dr. Mike here. Did you know your heart beats around about 5,000 times in an hour? Which means it beats around about three and a half billion times in your lifetime. Now in order for a heart to beat, it must contract. And in order for a heart to contract, it needs electrical stimulus telling it to contract. So this video is talking about that electrical stimulus, what we term the neural conduction of the heart. Now what I've drawn up here is a heart and you can see the four chambers of the heart, the two atria at the top and the two ventricles down the bottom. We've got right atrium, left atrium, right ventricle, left ventricle and the rest, all this tissue here is heart muscle and we term that myocardium. That's what contracts. When it contracts, it squeezes blood through these particular chambers into the various veins or arteries. All right, now when a heart contracts, did you know that your heart can spontaneously contract it? I could take a heart out of your chest and it could beat by itself. Now the reason why your heart can beat by itself is because of a specialized set of myocardia right here, heart muscle right there. And what the specialized group of neuron myocardium like tissue does is it spontaneously fires off. It spontaneously sends a signal. In actual fact, every 60, well, around about 60 to 100 times per minute, it will send an electrical signal. And it begins here at the atrium. Now, because it sets the rhythm of the heart, that's what we term the sinus rhythm. And because this group of specialized cells sit at the atria, it is termed the sinoatrial node. Also just termed the SA node. So the SA node starts the rhythm of the heart that we term the sinus rhythm. It does it around about 60 to 100 times a minute and it can do it by itself. Now the brain can impact how fast or slow this beats through a specialized part of the nervous system called the autonomic nervous system. That's the sympathetic or parasympathetic, fight or flight, rest and digest. But we're talking about just the sinus rhythm now. When it sends that electrical signal, it actually sends it through the myocardium of the atria. And it does it in that fashion, sends it out through the myocardium. Now, another important point is when an electrical signal is sent through muscle, in order for that muscle to contract, calcium must jump into the cells. So the order is electrical signal, calcium jumping in, muscle contracts. So that sent the signal, calcium's gonna jump in, those atria contract, pushes blood down into the ventricles. That's initiated by the sinoatrial node. Now the next thing is, we've got this bit of tissue right here. This tissue stops the electrical signal. It stops the electrical signal and funnels it to one particular point right here, another node, another group of specialized cells which sit between the atria and the ventricles and therefore it's called the atrioventricular node. Atrioventricular node, also just termed the AV node. Now, this is important. The electrical signal gets stopped at this bit of tissue right here, okay? And it stops for around about 0.4 of a second. So we've got the b, boom is gonna be the next part. So this is that pause between the two beats of your heart. So it all funnels into the AV node and the AV node sends the electrical signal down this bundle of neurons that we call the bundle of his. Bundle of his. Now the bundle of his branches off into left and right bundle branches. Left and right bundle branches. And these left and right bundle branches go down this septum between the two ventricles that we call the interventricular septum. Now, as it moves down, it goes down to the apex of the heart and then up and then you've got various branches going down like this. Okay, these are called Purkinje fibers. Again, Purkinje, because it's named after some old, dead, white guy. But these are the Purkinje fibers. 
and they send the rest of the electrical activity into the myocardium of the ventricles and again calcium jumps in and they contract pushing blood out of the heart. If it's the right side, it goes to the lungs. If it's the left, it goes to the body. So what do we have? What's the order of electrical conduction of the heart? SA node fires off around about 60 to 100 times a minute. It shoots through the myocardium of the atria. It gets stopped by this bit of tissue and funnels through the AV node. That's a break of around about 0.4 of a second. The AV node, if the SA node wasn't there, the AV node is also a set of pacemaker cells and that fires off around about 40 to 60 times a minute. So a little bit less than the SA node. Then it funnels it down the bundle of his, then the left and right bundle branches, and then through the Purkinje fibers that send that signal to the myocardium of the ventricles. So Kelsey can jump in and those ventricles contract. So this is the neural conduction of the heart.